Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create the kind of flipbook fire effects using Ambergen. And if I go into the game, whoops, I kind of went far away from it there. It's kind of a low poly effect, but it's actually, I should say low pixel effect, not poly. But it's really cool and off in the distance you wouldn't know that that's not a fire burning way out there. This is just the basic fire effect. There's a lot of other ones you can do. So what I'm going to do today, I've already done some videos on how to render out of Ambergen. So I'm just going to show you how how you would render out to get a looping simulation and then how you can quickly bring it in to Unreal Engine. So without further ado, I'm just going to escape out of here and go into Embergen. So when you come in, this is the basic scenario that we see and we probably want to scroll out far enough to be able to see the whole effect. So if I hit, I want to say we want to hit control R just to reset the cache and everything else that's in there and then just go ahead and hit play and then just observe the effect to see where it gets to a point where you would like to simulate it. And I believe the smoke starts dispersing at a certain point there. So I don't know where are we at with frames, maybe around 400, somewhere like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this. Now I'm using an older version of Embergen, so it may not have, it's not quite the same as the newest version, but we wanna go into the render tab so we can see what we're actually gonna be filming. And again, you'll probably wanna reposition yourself so that you can see the effect, like however you wanna to see it really, honestly. So like that's good enough. And all the render settings are pretty much the same as a normal render except we're gonna be doing a loop and we're going to be rendering out as a flip book. So let's say I want this to go from 400 frames. So what I'll do is I'll, you've got to come up here, I believe, to see the timeline. And so let's say I wanna render out from 400 to 464 frames. So I can kind of take a look at what that would look like real quick it looks fantastic from here so but again remember this is going to be a low poly low pixel effect so the first thing we probably want to do is set our loop region so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on here for the loop and i should it's here somewhere what happens is you can't always find it it's over here see so really what i want to do is move it which is this is kind of weird this part of it of how we have to kind of click and drag it to move it but I want to go to the 400th frame so I gotta find this thing and what's cool about this is that when you get up here it'll display where you're at so I see I'm at the 400th frame and I want to go to 464 if I end up having an extra frame in there I can just delete it in Unreal Engine so that's not a problem okay whether there's an extra frame or not I know that's a potential issue so this sets my loop region now as far as the export settings remember if I hit alt and click with my mouse I can come here to export and I want to do this not as a sequence but as a flipbook I'm rendering this as if I go into render this is being as a render with the alpha channel right there so that's all I have to do there. Go back on the export, it's a flip book. And the first frame, like we said, is gonna be 400, and it's gonna go for 64 frames from there. And we can just do frame stride one. Oh, and this is a big one. This is 256 by 256. So you'll see how this renders out, it's, it's actually pretty cool. And as far as I know, we're almost done. We just have to come has alt and go into this one called simulation. And we want to go to time control and we want to set it to loop simulation and it'll be on dynamic blend. And what does this warning say? Oh, we're not doing any of that. So we're not worried about that. And I think that's all we have to do. So I'm just going to go into the export tab again. Oops, I gotta make sure my alpha channel is hooked up. Click on the export tab. I have my folder. Let me find a folder for this. I already have one in there. So it's just gonna overwrite this, but I'll call this flip B or something like that and go save. And I'll just hit export now. And it does its magic. 
So I'm just watching it for a second here. Let's see what it does. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and we're done. So now I can jump into Unreal Engine. So here what I'm going to do in Unreal Engine is I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. A blank project. And I'm just going to call this Ember 1 and go create. This just take, I'm not saving. I've done this a few times. It took me a while to get all the bugs out of it, especially since I'm using an older version of the software and to figure out how to do the simulation loop. Okay, so I'm going to do this real quick and dirty. Like I said, please watch my other videos about doing flipbooks. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm a content level and I'm going to right click and create a new folder. I'm going to go inside this folder and then I'm going to click and go to paper 2D oops the other thing I need to do first I need to do is import my image from my desktop so it is in here it's this one right there and we're gonna go ahead and open it okay now I'm going to right click and go to paper 2d and go to sprite now I'm going to click into here I'm gonna go ahead and dock this window up here then I'm just gonna go to uh, my flip asset that I just brought in the flip three this one right okay and then all we have to do is come up here to edit source region we're gonna go to extract sprites it does a really good job doing it automatically so I didn't in the last tutorial I did it manually but I'm just gonna this is good enough for me and then we're just gonna go extract fantastic look at that how fast I came in right okay and it looks like yeah, we have 64 frames, so hopefully it'll loop. Now it looks, I dragged my cursor. We don't want this one. We want to start with this one right here. So the next thing we'll do, we'll go back to the content level. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Paper 2D Flipbook. Now I'm going to double click this and undock it. So it's over here. Then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into my folder. And clicking on the first frame here, zero, I'm going to hold down shift and go get the very last frame right here. With all those selected, I'm just going to click and drag them right into here. And they all come in. And from what I can tell, it looks like it's looping very well, which is fantastic. So believe it or not, I can go save. Now, if I just close this window, I'll go back to my content window. Here's my flipbook. All I have to do, I can control this with a blueprint, so go back and watch the tutorial on how, how I do that. But I'm just dragging into the scene to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to just drag this flipbook in, raise it up, and hit play. I think I really got to zoom in on this thing. Oh, it looks like it's angled at a... Hold on a second here. I'm not looking at it straight on. Turn it that way the blue way this way there we go so now if I hit play there's our effect and it's looping very nicely that's a very nice loopy simulation and that's how easy it is to do it's it's a really fantastic effect so I hope you found this helpful take care and I'll talk to you next time